Intentionally Fabulous family, this is Kelly Calabrese here with your Intentionally Fabulous tip of the day. And today I am so fired up to speak specifically to the ladies. And I want to say, ladies, you are not desperate. Oh my goodness, this is really, really put on my heart. I was on um, another Facebook page, not mine, but it was a divorce page. And there were some uh, women that were talking about a show on Netflix. Well, I don't watch TV at all and I don't have a Netflix account, um, but somebody let me watch the beginning of one of the episodes and I got about 10 minutes into it. And maybe it's because I watch no TV, but I honestly don't want to change how easily that I am offended by stuff out there that is just so not true. So um, the show started out with a woman lying in bed and her husband comes home sort of in the middle of the night and she says to him, you smell like sex. And he says to her, so do you. So they're married, but they're living this whole charade. They're on a break and they're both just, you know, going out and doing their thing. And um, it very quickly, I mean, I only watched 10 minutes of the show, turns into um, she feels like she needs a one night stand. Her friends get her all dressed up, take her out to this club where the whole intention is to have one night stands. And they get there and she's a little bit nervous. And so one of her girlfriends starts kissing her and then her uh, gay brother comes in and I mean, it's just like within minutes, it was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, wait a minute, what what is going on here? Like how quickly do we start to think that things are okay for us, that we can't be alone, that we need to just go out right away and have one night stands. So yes, that was extreme, but I just wanna say to you that you are worthy that you are so worthy. And I highly encourage you to really focus on becoming whole as yourself. So that self-love, self-care, working on you. Like there is no perfect woman, there is no perfect man out there. But I would love to see women really get to a place where they feel healed, spirit, mind, and body so that when they do go out into the dating world, they are going out with a perspective of, I deserve to be treated a certain way. And so ladies, if you're finding yourself out there with a man who, there's just a lot of red flags, and if there's these red flags right off the bat, <laughs> so just things that are you know sort of making a light bulb go off, making your radar come up about any area of their life, if they're, is just no fruit in terms of their relationships, their profession, their finances, their health, their habits, and so on. Ladies, massive red flag. Just take a step back and just be okay being alone for a little bit and focus on being the best you that you can be because then you'll attract the person based on who you are. So if you are settling for someone and you are, and I'm raising my hand because I was a massive enabler, settling for someone who you're like, oh, I can fix that. Oh, I can fix that. Oh, I can deal with that. Don't do it. I, I'm just begging you not to do it. You can't go into any relationship, even if it's not serious long-term thinking, well, I can fix that. I can change that. We're not here to change anyone. We're not here to be anyone's savior. We need to be the best example of ourselves. And we also need to be real. We need to be able to be with someone who they can see our flaws and love us anyway. They can see where we are lacking and love us and want to bring us up and challenge us to be better. And our job is to do the same with the other person. So if you found yourself with someone who's narcissistic, who's angry, who has some really severe addictions or, or any addictions that would throw a red flag up. I'm just challenging you to be okay by yourself and don't just go out dating or getting into relationships for the sake of not being alone. It is totally okay to be alone. That does not mean you're desperate. I don't care how old you are, what your situation is, how much or little money you have, it does not matter. You are not ever, ever desperate. I know a lot of people talk about making a list of um, the person you'd like to be with, and you may or may not agree with that, but I would definitely say that selection is huge. 
So have some non-negotiables. Um, for me, health and you know godliness is really important. So if someone doesn't have a good relationship with God, then you know they need to be able to lead me. So that's going to be out for me. Health is really important. So if they're someone who's a smoker, doesn't exercise, that's just not going to work. There's not going to be any compromise there for me. It's just, it's, it would be way too difficult. That is just not the person for me. So you, I'm sure, have your own list of non-negotiables. So I'm just saying, don't settle. You're amazing. You are not desperate. Look for those red flags and really consider you know, would I be better off being alone than being in this relationship that maybe is being, you know, just causing so much drama and taking energy away from you rather than adding energy to you in every area. You deserve to be with someone who's going to lift you up and make you better, not pull you down. And as the woman, you're designed to come alongside him with each other's strengths to build each other up. You are not there to pull him up. And going back to this Netflix show, of course, all the women who were the divorce women were the breadwinners and the men were seen as, you know, the weak guys sleeping around and so on. That None of that is how it's designed to be. Um, I'm all for women being strong and being earners, but um, we have a place to come alongside our husbands and complement each other, not to use power and money and influence and position against them. So ladies, I hope this helps you out today. And if any men are listening, I hope this helps you out too. But that is my intentionally fabulous tip of the day. You are not desperate. Get whole, get healed, look for the red flags, love yourself, and know that there are amazing men out there. And you will attract them. So hope this helps you. Have an awesome, awesome day. And I'll be back here tomorrow with your intentionally fabulous tip of the day.